Hey YouTube, it's Jason again with Weld.com and today we're here with Jeff Ray from Hefner Performance in Sarasota, Florida. Um, they do a lot of high-end work, but I'm going to let Jeff kind of tell you guys about, you know, exactly what they do. So what is it um, you guys do down there at Hefner Performance and, and then explain a, a little bit about what you got here. Uh, over at Hefner we do a lot of high-end exotic cars, mainly twin turbo systems on uh, Lamborghinis, <laughs> R8s. <laughs> 4 GTs, Dodge Vipers. So I do all the welding and fabricating over there, exhaust systems, stainless, titanium, aluminum intercooler piping. We do a lot of uh, turbo systems is mainly what we specialize in. Okay, so tell us what you got here. This is for ballistic cycles in uh, Wisconsin. This is for uh, Harley, it's a titanium two into one. We're going to be welding on today. Okay. I noticed uh, we've been purging this for a while, so if you could kind of walk us through the purge process. You got you got some joints that are taped off, some that aren't. You know, how do you how do you know how long to purge the system for? You know, how do you know when it's ready? I uh, worked in process for a while, and we have a chart that explains how much CFH to flow through the pipe to cover the amount of pipe we have here. Um, start at the bottom. Always want to purge from your lowest point out. You know. Uh, Argon being heavier than oxygen, it's going to push all that oxygen out. So we want to have our vent points up here at the top. Some of the joints that are welded, you know, it'll also help push out of there. But okay. start welding from the bottom here and go up with it. And this is all titanium material? This is all titanium material from Tycon Industries. What kind of, what, what thickness are we looking at? This, this stuff is one millimeter thick. Okay, what kind of uh, settings are you going to run on the machine? Uh, run DC, we got her set at 28 amps right now um, with a long post flow. You know, we want to shield this stuff as long as we can to uh, keep the gas coverage on it, not let any heat affected zones trap any oxygen in there. So we want it as silver as possible. Okay, so you're, you're definitely looking for a silver final weld versus the purples and the blues Correct. and all that. Correct, yep. Perfect. Okay. Um, well, we'll let you get to it. All right. Now that we uh, got her purged out, we're going to go ahead and start welding here. Start right here and go up with it. Okay. Good weld. Nice clean silver all the way through. You'll see there was a time there where the, the wire kind of got hung up. Uh, if you don't have this in that puddle, it sticks to it and it doesn't like to come off of there. Okay. But uh, yeah, you really got to keep the wire in that puddle. Held the gas there long enough, let it cool. I trailed far enough. I was at a nice speed that I didn't get discoloring prior to my heat affected zone outside of my gas lens here. We got a Furic BBW cup on here, which uh, it'll go all the way around. Get get underneath in between the two. Yep, and stuff yep. Like that, give it a little bit more stick it way out, out there. Right. Yep. Now, would you equate this to like as to welding on stainless steel, or is it a completely different animal? Uh, it is very similar. That's uh, coming into having welded it before, um, knowing it was similar to it. Just you know the different characteristics of it. You know, keeping it shielded and right. uh, the temper color off the weld. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's it's real nice. Once you get to, you know, the nerves out of it, doing it a couple right. of times, it gets really fun. It's gonna be a little nerve wracking, just because you know because of the thinness and I mean just yeah, the cost in general for titanium. Yeah, it can open titanium. a hole real easy. In right. It. Yep. So we got to make sure our fits are on point and uh, just take your time. I mean. So tell me about some of the cuts and everything you have in here. Do you, I mean, do you start from a template or you start off a print or you just start on the actual engine and work your way out? This system here is mocked up on the bike. Okay. This is the first one, uh, hasn't even been released yet. But it was built on the bike, take it off there, build a jig for it to weld it out and help, you know, keep it all together and so I can build more. But uh, all the fittings here are from Tycon and uh, their mandrel bend fittings, they also offer pie cuts, already cut, clean, and uh, all the rest straight tube. This is their megaphone reducer that they make also. 
So you mentioned earlier that um, you can't use acetone. Like a lot of times we TIG weld and everything. I mean, that's one of the go-to things. I to use clean acetone up the on this, yes. Okay. When the finish is brushed like this, it will hold oils a lot better than if it was polished. So I've done systems where I've polished them now and I can actually clean them after I've welded them and colored. As, as far as this one, the oils, when you touch it, you couldn't clean them off. Can't get them back off. No. So how do you go through like your coloring process? Once everything's done, like all the welds, are, they come out with a nice silver color, but I notice you have like straw up here, turn into like a light purple, deep purple into a, into a dark blue. So how do you go about getting the colors you want? Uh, this is all consistent up here that I've done through an anodizing process, which we use at Hefner. And this was done with a torch and uh, chucked it up in a lathe to even, evenly disperse that heat across there. You know, there's other ways you can weld it out and then brush it and then, you know, torch it all or anodize it how you want. But uh, I really like the fact that I show the weld quality as right. opposed to, you know, some companies where they try so to cover the, that up. Right. So you're going to leave all the all the welds on it once it's done. Correct. They'll they'll all be silver. And that's nice. You know, I've been in a lot of situations where you put some beautiful welds down, you got to grind them back off mm -hmm. or, you know, cover them back up. Yep. And, you know, that's it's like there's, you know, there's a lot of art involved in this. Exactly. A lot of talent. That's, that's what this is, man, is art. <clears throat> all right, Jeff. So what's next? Uh, I'll get on this backside here, get it tied in, do the tight spot between here, and then we'll get into this tight area and show you how this cup really is put to work. All right, man, let's run it. So, right when you pull out of the weld, you see me flip my hood up. If, if you do do that, you need to be careful that you don't flip it up too fast or exhale too hard and you'll actually blow that argon, your shielding gas out of there and you'll be left with a blue spot. So, just be cautious of it. So if you do end up with some sort of oxides in there because you know you, you flipped your hood up or breathed too hard or somebody opened a, you know the side door or whatever, how do you yeah. go about rectifying that? Uh, what I usually do is I'll just you know put the torch back there, heat the material up just a little bit. I don't get it to where it's puddled again, but you can actually watch that color go away, and then I'll just back out of it and let it cool it off again. Okay. Great thing about the titanium is, say, I got a little high, high low here. Mm -hmm. It opens up on me, back my amps off a little bit, and the wire actually fills in really nice and allows it to, to fill up as opposed to if you've ever welded stainless tubing and it opens up, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard, yeah. yeah. This stuff, it, it, it comes back together real nice. Jeff, that was awesome work, man. I really appreciate you stopping out here and uh, giving us a demonstration tonight. Jeff with Hefner Performance. Thanks for thanks again for watching. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the like button down below. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and make every well better than your last.